So which of the following, if true, most weakens the argument to the left? The argument to the left, of course, will is started here on this case with the word thus. Um, since sufficient slop is essential for the survival of a strong current supply of fuller pork bellies, prices of pork bellies futures will decline dramatically today. So we have, uh, so if something is um, good for um, good for swine pigs, right? Something that's good for swine is bad for futures. So, it, so if there's a poor supply expected, like it says up here, our evidence here, uh, poor pork belly supply is expected later, pork belly's futures rise. If uh, bountiful pork belly supply is expected, pork belly's futures fall. So, uh, and you have good pork bellies if you have something that's good for the pig, and you and therefore futures fall. If something is bad for swine, that is to say pigs, the futures prices of pork bellies will go up because that's how they work. So um, we need to weaken the argument to the left that pork bellies futures will decline dramatically. So if they're going to decline dramatically, um, we need something that is going to um, so the, the price of the futures is going to go down that's the prediction. So the prediction is that something good for swine is going to happen. To weaken the argument, we need something bad for swine to happen. That will cause future prices, futures to go up. So, A, pigs that do not consume adequate slop during the critical growth stage will not produce a full rich product. So that might be generally true, but um, since they're predicting slop, sufficient slop coming in, uh, this doesn't weaken their uh, conclusion. B, this fiscal year, pork bellies futures prices have varied more erratically compared to last year. The variance is not a factor. That's not something bad for pigs. We need something bad for pigs so that uh, futures prices go up to weaken the argument. C, the slop that swinologists predict for tomorrow is only expected to be distributed well outside the pig, the pig pen areas. So while this is somewhat bad, it's not the good thing that they were expecting to happen. We need something bad to happen for future prices, futures prices to actually go up. Um, D, today a press release by pork experts, pork experts said that the foot and mouth disease decimating some of the pork belly supply will spread widely before the start of the slaughtering season. So here's something that's totally bad for pigs, which would cause futures prices to go up. Let's check E though. Investors who speculate in pork bellies futures rarely take physical possession of the pork bellies they trade. Well, that's true, um, but hardly um, relevant. It doesn't do anything to reverse the trend of good things happening to swine and futures prices going down. So choice D is the only one that, that reverses the trend of something good happening to swine.